Okay, we're gonna chug along right from last tutorial and we're gonna talk about the static keyword. This is a concept people actually sometimes have trouble with, but it's it's actually not that hard. Just hopefully I'll explain it well and you'll never worry about it. So anyway, right now we have squares and we know that we have we can give them a size and we can print squares. So if we go my square dot print like this, we press play like so, we get a square of size one, but if we do that with the herald instead, press play again, we get a square of size three. So we know that we can call methods and give member variables to specific instances of a class. But sometimes what you want to do is actually define things about the type square. Um, so for example, we might want to count the number of squares that have been created. And that isn't something that can be done or should be done in a specific square. That is just something we need to record about all the squares. And that's what the static keyword is for. So we might say public static int squares created, like so. And we'll say, we'll say equals zero, just because we want it to start as zero. It would do that anyway, but I like to be sure about these things. And what this is going to do is create a variable that is on the type square rather than on a specific square. And so how do we increment this variable? How do we know when a square is created? We know a square is created because the constructor is called, right? So what we're going to do is every time the constructor is called, we're going to do squares created plus plus, which just adds one to squares created. So now, how do we get access to this variable? What we have to do is instead of creating a square and then calling, like trying to get access to the variable from the specific square, we use the type instead. And we say square dot uh, squares created, right? Like this. And this is a static variable that's going to get returned and it's gonna tell us how many squares have been created. So let's just print this out. System.out.println, like so, oh my God, okay. There we are. So we have this statement, if I press play now, we get two. Now let's create a new square. Let's call the square Beth. Here we are, create a Beth, and let's, um, let's print this again. So, Create square, my square, we create Harold, we print out the squares created, that's two, we create another square of Beth, and then we print it out again, and we have three. So, so what we've done is we've just statically recorded how many squares have been created, right? And we can do this with methods also. And the best example I can think of of why you would want a static method is because you want to give your type some kind of ability. So, so right now, like if I see seven plus eight, right? I know what plus means. I know how to take seven and take eight and do a plus operation on it. But I don't know how to do these kind of operations with square. The same thing for figuring out if something's bigger. So if I wanna do this, seven greater than, greater than eight, I know how to figure out if seven is greater than eight. And this is built into the Java language. But we don't know this for squares. We don't know how to find out if things are greater than other things for squares. So what we can do is we can make a static method for the type itself. And we can say public static um, bool, because it's gonna return, or boolean even, because it's gonna return true or false, greater than, right, like so. And then we're gonna pass in two squares. We're gonna say is square, sq1 greater than square sq2 I don't know let's find out so to to do the, to finish this method we need to put in the logic and so what we're going to do is we're, we're going to return sq1.size right is greater than sq2.size which one's bigger is the size of sq1 bigger if so, return true. If it's smaller, return false. So now I have given these squares an ability. I've given them the ability to do a greater than operation on two squares. And so let's do it. Let's have a look. We have my square and we have Harold. And so we're gonna system.out 
dot print line so that we can print the result of this. And then what are we going to print? Well, we are going to print greater than using the static square method greater than. So we use square because it's about the type, comma, a dot even greater than. And then we're going to pass in two squares. So we're going to say my square and we're going to say Harold. Who's bigger? Is greater is, is my square greater than Harold? False, that is not true. But if I change this to Harold and change that over to my square like so, I get true because Harold is bigger than square. And so so what we're doing is we're we're one, we're creating types uh, by creating classes that have a specific definition. So a square has a certain size, right? But we're also creating the definitions for the operations we can do on those types by creating a greater than. And I could do a, a uh, subtraction, addition, um, division. I could, do, I could do anything I want by creating static variables on square. And this, and building up systems doing this, creates very, very powerful classes that, have very, that you can do a lot of complicated stuff in very small amount of actual code. That's it for now. I hope that helped. If you want to see any more student-made content or more tutorials, check out the TVM YouTube channel and I will see you next time.